Being a new driver, do you remember what that was like? Well, you know, a lot of us uh, talk about how bad things have gotten lately and things are, you know, rate cuts and things like that. But what if you're a new driver? You know, how can you make that work? Well, for many people in America, being a new driver is still an attractive, appealing opportunity. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the results of one of our new uh, driver readers, uh, Paul Pintor in Dallas, Texas, right? And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the number one thing that he started doing, which I've never done, which has gotten him a 20% on average cash tip average for all of his rides. It'll blow your mind. So stick around for that. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today we're gonna to talk about what, it is, what is it to be a new driver in America, in this case in Dallas, Texas. All right, meet Paul Pintor. Okay, so Paul is uh, 55 years old and he's uh, in between jobs. And he thought rideshare driving seemed like something really fun to do. And he jumped right in. He contacted the rideshare guy and he said he was getting started. Could he get some tips? Uh, he and I had a little coaching call and then uh, I spoke further with him uh, for the podcast, the Rideshare Dojo podcast. So number two, why did Paul decide to drive for Uber and Lyft? Well, he was driving around and he heard uh, financial expert Dave Ramsey talk about how there are certain drivers who have cracked the code of driving and were making a pretty good living at it. And he said that even if you're already got a job, it's something you could do part time and make a little bit of extra money. And you could use that to pay down debt. You could use it to build on your retirement fund. You could use it to pay for a vacation. Maybe you want to go to, I don't know, uh, the Maldives, right? That's expensive. Those, uh, those bungalows over the water are like 500 a night. So if you go there for a week, that's about four grand just for the, 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 you know, your lodging. And then you got all your other stuff. So doing a little side work for Uber and Lyft can help, you know, and, and have this dream vacation come true. So for all these reasons, Paul decided to give it a shot. So number three, what does Paul most like about driving for Uber and Lyft? So as you can see here, Paul's driving a uh, 2020 uh, Soul, right? And uh, it's a nice car, it gets good gas mileage, and he's having a blast doing it. But the thing he likes the most is meeting the passengers. He has this saying that uh, he's making it rain for everybody. So making it rain means that he is giving the passengers water and he's giving them cookies and candies and things like that and he's just really treating them well so number four what does a new driver like the least about being a driver the thing he likes the least is the rating system because he doesn't like that even when he gives outstanding service uh, people can still give you a one rating so as you can see here i broke out paul's ratings for the first uh, month and He's gotten 226 five-star ratings, but as you can see down at the bottom, he got one one-star rating for an average of 4.92. So of all the things you could dislike about being a driver, that's not so bad. I, I told him, I said, as long as you don't get down to a 4.6, you're fine. You're not gonna get deactivated. Other than that, the rating really doesn't mean, mean that much. Okay, number five, this is what I wanted to share with you. What's the biggest lesson Paul has learned? And this is where I also learned something. And the biggest lesson was treat your passengers as if they're getting into a limousine, right? So for Paul, every ride is a limo ride. It's the Paul Pintor limo experience. And as you can see here, this has had some amazing impact on his tips, cash tips, right? So these are people actually handing him cash after his rides. So what we see here is that uh, in three weeks, he made $32.95, cash tips of $821. That's 20% on average cash tip for every single Uber ride. He did do a little bit of driving for Lyft, and in total for three months, for three weeks, he made $4,501 for an average of $1,500 per uh, week. So that's pretty strong. I've never thought about opening the door. So what, ha what he does is he gets out and he opens the door for the passenger on the passenger side and lets them get in and then he walks around and gets back in his car. And this is what he attributes his remarkably high tip percentage to. Again, these are cash tips, average of 
So think about it. If you went out, if you went out and did a $200 day, that means you're getting $40 in cash tips. I hardly get any cash tips, but I'm not opening the door and I'm not offering water and I'm not offering pop tarts. So what are the key takeaways here? Rideshare driving is still a pretty decent gig. So so much of life is context, right? Is about reframing things. So if you were a driver from five years ago and you look at compare what you were making then to what you're making now, you say, well, it's all crap. But if you're just starting out and you're just like, wow, I could go out and make $1,500 a week driving people around and having a great time and I can do it whenever I want to, then you got to say, that's pretty good. That's a pretty nice gig. Uh, and that's the key takeaway. It's all a matter of how you frame things. So if you're an experienced driver, I invite you to frame it uh, differently than, wow, things have really gotten terrible. They say stress causes illness. So reduce the stress. Uh, I'm not saying don't, don't, uh, don't close your eyes. Don't be blind to what's happening. But in your day-to-day -day life, it's still a pretty decent gig. That's what I'm saying. And uh, you can make some money and have some fun doing it. That's all I'm saying. All right. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we put an emphasis on showing you ways to make more money in less time. Uh, it's been great sh sharing this uh, new driver experience with you. Thank you to Mr. Paul Pintor for his cooperation and his coming on to the Rideshare Dojo podcast and, uh, and uh, letting us share his story here. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. It's Jay Creator with the Rideshare Guy. Be safe out there.